hello bscft as you can see on the screen today's topic is processing of tamarind into different kinds of products now further we will see the details about the tamarind what are details firstly the introduction that is the botanical name that is tamarindus indica l and the word tamarind came from arabic word tamare hindi or tamar hindi in arabic it means indian dates because of resemblance of color pulp with the dates arabics called tamarind tamare hindi or tamar hindi in sanskrit it is known as amlika means so taste genus is tamarindus origin is eastern tropical africa but india is the largest producer of tamarind and only country to produce it commercially the southern states are the basically largest producer of the tamarind tamarind has three parts first pulp second seed and third fiber pulp part is 30% seed part is 40% and fiber part is 30% in total 100% now we will move further about the post harvest technology of tamarind firstly tamarind is converted into slabs or bars for the commercial exchange or the commercial form which is used into a commercial form which is used for transport purpose so pulp is freed from fiber and seed and is mixed with about 10% salt and beaten down with mallets mallets are the wooden hammers so as to exclude air then it is packed into gunny bags in the form of bar or slab generally it is compressed and packed into by the compressing machine obviously packed into gunny bags lined with palm leaf matting pulp with fiber and seed also common in market so one form form of bar is free from fiber and seed and then compressed into bar with the processing of 10% salt and beating down with mallets the wooden hammers to exclude air to facilitate compression but without excluding fiber and seed the slab are prepared just by compressing the tamarind the ripened tamarind which is shelled out means shell is removed from the tamarind and 
the pulp fiber and seed part is compressed another process of commercial transportation is salted pulp trodden into mass made into balls exposed to sun and dew for about a week balls are steamed for short time before being exposed to the sun and dew pulp light brownish red but darkens but darkens with time during storage so basically it is a process to preserve or to extend shelf life of the bar slab or balls to be used for longer time period or to be stored for longer time period so these are the commercial the, uh, these are the commercial forms of tamarind bars and slabs which are marketed initially to the industry or the distributors now grading pulp is red colored due to pigment chrysanthemum chrysanthemum red type is sweeter that than common type low content as we have seen everywhere now we have we are seeing everywhere there are two varieties of tamarind one is the common type which is sour variety and second is the variety the red type of variety which is sweeter and served as fruit on with fruit low content of free acids fetches high price in market and is preferred for making preserve so as it is used as a fruit in the fruit market as well as for making preserve and it has higher price than the common type of tamarind now the egg mark or as fcci authorities have laid down separate specifications for seedless tamarind light red to tinged or brown pulp seedless tamarind pulp black color and tamarind pulp with seeds normal brown color now the processed products of tamarind tamarind pulp the ripe fruit the common or normal tamarind ripe fruit contains 55% tamarind pulp 33% seed and 12% fiber now tamarind pulp composition moisture is 18.2% then basically the principal acid is tartaric acid that is 9.8% then other acids 6.7% total sugars as invert sugar that are 38.2% invert sugars are means simple sugars then invert sugars are reducing sugar which can reduce other component into simpler forms then protein 2.8% pectin 2.8% then fiber 19.4% 
then mineral matter 2.8 percent calcium phosphorus iron and 83 calories per 100 gram vitamin a is there niacin is there then after that we will see the processing of tamarind pulp now processing of tamarind pulp receiving the raw material in the form of slab as we have discussed the three kinds of slab bars or balls are prepared by the factory then storage is there then de-lumping the lump or the slab packed in gunny bags are de-lumped and soaked in hot water with enzyme the enzyme used is pectin pectin pectic enzymes are used to depectinize the pectin content of the tamarind now what is pectin pectin is a polysaccharide which gives structure to the tamarind pulp now for making pulp sorry tamarind pectin gives the structure of tamarind so to dissolve pectin or depectinase that pectin hot water with pectic enzymes are used during soaking to facilitate pulp separation because pectin gives structure the tough structure so it has to be convert into simpler form or it has to be disintegrate to facilitate pulp separation now pulp separation is done by three steps first is by destoner after soaking the pulp goes to destoner destoner has bigger sieve size to just separate stones from the pulp then after that sieve size of the pulper is less than the destoner and then finisher the sieve size of the finisher is less than the sieve size of the pulper so three step the big sized sieve then small size sieve as compared to destoner into pulper and the finisher the smallest size of sieve during the pulp separation pulper is a machine which has a drum shape which revolves on horizontal axis to facilitate pulping by friction with the rod that is corrugated rod which is fitted into the horizontal barrel or drum the metallic drum and finisher is the small sieve filter from which pulp is pressurized now after finisher the finished pulp is preheated to the temperature 85 to 95 degree centigrade now 
heat facilitates to press the pulp through turbo extractor which has 1 mm sieve size the smallest from the finisher so heating facilitate the pulp to go through this sieve size now after pulp extraction from turbo extractor evaporation is done evaporation can be done by different types of evaporators depending on the need after evaporating to the desired moisture content the pulp is sterilized to 103 degree centigrade then after sterilization cooling filling and storage is done after sterilization there is not given the cooling step but it is the mandatory step because if we will not stop the sterilization temperature or if we do not cool down the sterilization temperature the cooking of pulp will proceed to stop the cooking process which can affect the taste and flavor can have cooked or burnt flavor cooling at 4 degree centigrade is done by the cool water and then after that filling and storage is done so here is the flow chart for the pulp preparation from tamarind now next product from tamarind is tamarind concentrate tamarind concentrate has tartaric acid which is the principal acid of the tamarind 12 to 13% ash that is mineral 2% and ash insoluble in hcl is 32% of the total ash so don't misunderstood the 32% and 2% don't be confused if we assume that 2% is the total ash so we will assume that ash is 100% so from the 2% of ash 32% ash is insoluble in dilute hc now the uses of tamarind concentrate because we know the pulp processing and tamarind concentrate processing is same but the moisture content is different the evaporation process till evaporation process is the same process but only the use of evaporation process the time temperature combination is different because pulp has more moisture content than co tamarind concentrate and the moisture content of pulp and tom tamarind concentrates depends on the need of the product so there is no set standard as tamarind has all already lower moisture content that is 18.2% so pulp concentration will be lowered as per the industrial need and tamarind concentrate moisture percent will uh, will be lower than the pulp's moisture content now the use of tamarind concentrate it can be used as sauce for good flavor or uh, it can be used in curry or other culinary dishes and it is uh, the concentrate is almost of jam consistency 
as i have said that tamarind has already lower moisture content so pulp and uh, concentrates have lower moisture content so a consistency of concentrate is like a jam now concentrate is free from fiber seeds and foreign matter as we have seen that filtration process is very vigorous the sieve sizes have decreasing order the larger sieve size then smaller then smaller is used so from this process it is free from fiber seeds and for foreign matter now next product mm, the preserve so simmering of fruits passing cooked mass through motorized pulper then vacuum concentration of this pulp then homogenized pulp then compressing into molds blocks cheese certain amount of cleaning will be there so basically this is the process this is the intermediate product used in industry then tamarind pulp powder the evaporation process exceed time and temperature process exceed that uh, pulp is converted into paste and paste is con converted into concentrate and concentrate is converted into pulp powder pulp powder is prepared in hygienic powder form and it can be packed and used as ready to use kitchen culinary product or industrial product now the pro process flow chart for powder the pulp we have received from the first product then additives are used to mix because powder needs additives to have free flow quality stabilizers are used and then drying pulverizing pulverizing is the free flowing form pulverizing means free flow so drying and after that making the particles in homogenized form and smooth form the smooth outer surface so the powder is pulverized and it is into free form then granulating and conditioning and dip, because pulverizing reduces the size very much if in order to make the pulp powder free flowing powder if it is needed the granulating is done and conditioning that is equalization of moisture throughout the granules is done for the proper texture and evenness of the product then packing is done and product powder is ready now the ready to serve products like cooling beverages from tamarind pulp are prepared these can be packaged with the use of preservative or uh, heat thermal techniques or it can be prepared fresh by using tamarind pulp now the tamarind candy so uh, the process of making tamarind candy selection of tamarind fruit the peeling or shelling peeling out the shell then pouring the boiling sugar syrup the temperature is 62 degree centigrade the boiling sugar 
three parts of water and one part of sorry three parts of sugar and one part of water this is wrongly written three parts of sugar and one part of water and soaking for three days that uh, tamarind fruit is soaked in the sugar syrup for three days then after that it is drained out the water the excess water is drained out then next the same step is repeated soaking in freshly prepared sugar syrup until the fruit is sweet enough as desired by the particular candy then arranging the sweetened fruit in bamboo racks drying in the sun finally in oven at low temperature so a uh, drying process has two steps first is drying in sun and second is drying in oven to give final touch or give the appearance then cooling is done because after any heat treatment cooling is must because if the temperature will be on higher side the product inside the product the cooking process will be continued and the taste and desired flavor can alter and it can be a defect so after processing at standard temperature which is required the cooling process is necessary then wrapping into cellophane or in packaging material and the candy is ready which can be shaped mold anything can be done now the ready to serve category first was the tamarind candy and second product in the category of tamarind in the category of ready to serve product second product is tamarind jam now the process is selection of ripe fruits then shelling then boiling the pulp for 10 minutes then draining then separating from seeds then adding 2 cups of sugar for 1 cup of pulp then cooking with constant stirring till thick consistency or the degree the 65 to 67 degree bricks is obtained then cooling is done and packing in sterilized jar and sealing is done the next ready to serve product is tamarind prick pickle the process is selection of tamarind fruit after that soaking in water the standard treatment of the tamarind soaking in water for 12 hours then separation of pulp will be there then adding sugar to pulp that is in 1 to 1 ratio means one part of sugar and one part of pulp then boiling and stirring the mixture adding the spice mixture to make it into pickle the spice mix can contain coriander cumin seed black cumin cloves cardamom cinnamon chili salt mustard oil black pepper etc now the whole spices are ground to paste and added to boiling tamarind and packed into sterilized glass jar and sealed this is the process for making tamarind pickle now next ready to serve product and intermediate product also tamarind syrup the prepared pulp that is also an intermediate product then straining through cheese cloth then after adding half teaspoon of baking soda for 1 cup of juice 
boil the mixture to half the original quantities removing the scum and straining the juice then after that adding 1 half cup of sugar boiling for 20 minutes cooling and packing in sterilized jars and sealing so the syrup is prepared syrup can be used in different kinds of product baking soda is added because it gives an preservative effect to the sugar syrup and it has extended shelf life and it is used for various culinary purposes so i think the tamarind processing is clear you can make handwritten notes based on this lecture